all of my darling divas out there in no minus plus land happy wednesday happy hump day we are in the middle of the week and you only got two more days until the weekend um so today's video is going to be all about the places i like to shop okay now you guys know that shopping is my thing if that has not been proven on this channel so far that i absolutely love 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 to shop so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys the places that i love to shop the places that I shop sometimes and the places that i would like to start shopping at and um the purpose of the video is to also open dialogue and conversation in the comment section down below because i want us to all kind of create this rolodex of shopping places so down below i want you guys to comment the same i want you to comment your holy grail places where you always have to shop where you shop sometimes and where you would like to start shopping that way if there's a store that you have never heard of or a store that you also wanted to try maybe this will give you the motivation and inspiration to do so if you're like me and you're kind of getting tired of shopping at the same places maybe some of the uh, maybe some some maybe some of the suggestions down below can give you some new ideas to shop and hopefully you can get some new ideas from this video here and that I'm telling you uh, if you didn't know that you could shop at these places. Um, it's very important for us as plus size women to share all of these secrets and the tools and the tricks on how to be a bad bitch. Okay, so please don't be afraid to share all of your goodies and all of your secrets like I'm about to. So let's Okay, so I have some of these um places listed here on my phone because i do not want to forget about anything so if you see me looking down this is what i'm looking down at so we're starting off with the places that i love so this should be no surprise because what I, the dress that i'm wearing you guys can see the dress that i'm wearing today is from this place but i got it in the dia box um fashion to figure fashion to figure is my number one place to get all of my clothing from um like 95 percent of my wardrobe is fashion to figure every time that i walk out of the house there is a 99.9 percent .9 chance that one piece of clothing i'm wearing is from fashion to figure it's a place that is super affordable and very trendy and that's pretty much what i gear what i like gravitate towards Okay, I'm ball on the budget. Okay, I'm 25 years old. I just got out of, I just got out of college almost a year ago. Um, it well, actually is a year ago. Today. A year ago today. So it is my graduation anniversary today. So I just got out of college. Um, I just started, landed my dream job at DN Co. But girl, I got bills and suit alone, so I'm ball on the budget. So I gotta look cute on a dime, okay? So fashion to figure definitely never steers me wrong and never fails me. I am always able to get some really great pieces at really great prices. And that's like my go-to store. If I'm looking for a dress for an event or if I'm looking for some vacation pieces or anything, I always go to fashion to figure first. That is like my all-time go-to place. Um, fashion to figure, FTF, they, they are my people. They know me, okay? I love them. Second place that I love to go to is Target. I know that I am not the only person that is a Target kind of girl. Absolutely love everything about Target. I fell in love with Target during my freshman year of college because we had one that was really close to campus, like around the corner, behind the school, whichever direction you're coming from. Um, it was right there on campus. So I definitely fell in love with the clearance rack at Target because my mama taught me how to shop. She told me to shop in the back of the store where the sales are and then work your way to the front, okay? And then you decide from the pile of clothes that you have tried on and had which one you're going to take home because obviously you ain't taking home all the clothes you tried on. Um, so I just love flipping through the clearance racks on Target because I'm always able to find something and I'm really super impressed with the new Ava and Viv line that they came out with. I'm pretty sure it was maybe like two years old or I'm not really sure when it came out. But they revamped and redesigned the whole plus size um, fashion department uh, section of Target a couple of years ago. It's now called Ava and Viv and it's completely amazing. And I love all the pieces. They fit really well. Um, there, there's, there's something in the collection for everybody, and I also love that Target. Ooh, please excuse me, that is my dog. I think that he's ready to go for a walk. Um, but even the plus size, like you know how, um, like Victoria Beckham, she came out with a collection of, of pieces, and she included plus sizes. So even collections that are coming to Target are now including plus size collections. So I'm, I'm really appreciating that we are able to shop 
uh, freely, openly, and cheaply at Target, okay, girl? Because you know you can buy everything from Target. So while you're buying your baby clothes and your baby food, and while you're buying your flowers and your home goods and all that good stuff, go over to the clearance department and get yourself some stuff from Target because uh, that other 1% of the 99.9 .9 of fashion to figure clothing, that other percent is from Target, okay? Those two places are by go, go to, okay? I swear my whole closet is fashion figure at Target. Um, the next place that I love to shop, and this is not so much for clothes, although this place does have clothes, but I am absolutely in love with Just Fab. Um, if you guys have been here on the channel, then you know that I do a Just Fab unboxing every month. So I have recently started to fall in love with Just Fab this year when I did my first unboxing in January. And I, I've been bit by the Just Fab bug hard, okay? I have bags from them, various amounts of shoes. They do have plus sizes. Um, I haven't purchased enough of the clothes to say that I'm obsessed with them. But they are really, really great quality and I really do love what I have purchased so far. I do plan on buying some bathing suits from there pretty soon and doing uh, like, uh, every year I do like a bathing suit video so I'm definitely excited to get my hands on some of their new swimwear but I really do love that place for shoes and for accessories I have definitely become a shoe whore over the past couple of months and it's because just fab has so many options for my shoe size so I'm really 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 pleased about that so now all of these outfits that I create now I have shoes to match because sometimes I wasn't able to wear certain outfits because I didn't have the shoes but now just fab has definitely come in and saved the day especially since every piece it's $39.95 so just fab is my third obsession so I'm gonna clump these two together TJ Maxx Marshalls because they're like the same store okay but I absolutely love those places and um what I love about TJ Maxx and Marshalls is that it's kind of like a scavenger hunt you kind of got to go fishing for some good pieces and I always always end up finding some really amazing amazing stuff um, one of a kind pieces is kind of it's kind of like thrifting except um, obviously Marshall's is gonna be more pricier than thrift stores but it's kind of like that vibe and that's what I like about it I also like that I can buy like novelty mugs and really cute uh, makeup organizers um, I one time saw Anastasia Beverly Hills products in a Marshall so you can always find some really great stuff there and a lot of times you'll be wondering how the heck did this stuff get here but um, I really do love that aspect of it I have found so many amazing gems at Marshall and TJ Maxx um, I frequent there as much as and whenever I see one I am in there like swimwear because it is amazing so yeah those are definitely like all of my top holy grail stores that I get most of my clothes from. Places that I like to shop sometimes. Now these are places that I kind of browse through, have brought some pieces from but not that frequently to call them my favorites but um, I've definitely gotten some pieces that I loved from there. Um, and these websites definitely probably have like a cart full of stuff that I just have never like click purchase on. So the first one is going to be Forever 21. Now, Forever 21 used to be a part of my holy grails. I used to love and adore Forever 21, but I have found that over the years, nothing has really amazed and wowed me. Like, I used to be able to rack up in Forever 21, but now it's like, blah. So now I really, I rarely shop there. Like, I shop there sometimes, but not a lot. But Forever 21 is gonna, it's like that old friend. Like, you're always gonna shop there because the first 21 plus size section was like one of the first places that I fell in love with shopping in uh, and so it's always gonna be there to fall back on you know if I have had a not so successful trip at the mall I can kind of sort of count on Forever 21 to kind of lift my spirits and I get like a couple of things but I have noticed that I have not racked up as much stuff as I used to I used to be in love with Forever 21 like I used to love that place but now I find that it's just not as like appealing as it used to be it also might have to do something to do with the fact that everybody shops at forever 21 now so it's like you you can go to one place and there are people wearing the same clothes as you so it's like there's nothing like special about it so um that unfortunately has now become my sometime store but it's still a good place to shop um and it's always gonna be like in my arsenal of places to shop because it's forever 21 like you always just shop at forever 21 
Next question is Torrid. I have recently really started to fall in love with Torrid. My only problem with Torrid and why I don't shop there often is the fact that it is a bit pricey. But if you catch some of the if you catch the sales and if you shop in the clearance department, Torrid is the ish, man. Um, I recently purchased a bathing suit from Torrid uh, for my vacation in January, and the bathing suit fit me amazing. The leggings fit great. Um, I just love so many. I, I mostly get my shoes from Torrid. So there, I have a love-hate relationship with Torrid. I love Torrid so much, but it is so expensive. Like I need you guys to please lower your prices. Like I'll see something in a campaign and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have it. And then it ends up being like $90 and I'm like, okay, you know, you can sit right there. Um, Cause remember what I said, balling on the budget. Me balling on the budget, okay? Um, and you know, uh, that's the only problem. That's the only reason why Torrid isn't like my go-to store is because it's so expensive. Like I need to be cheaper. Like even some of the stuff on clearance is still expensive. Like $50 is not cheap. Like you do have $50. You buy 50 chicken nuggets from, from McDonald's for 50 bucks, okay? Probably not. No, you can buy 50 chicken nuggets for like $2 at um, McDonald's. I don't fucking know. Another place that I shop at, sometimes it's ASOS. Um, I really do like ASOS though. Like ASOS has some really speedy delivery. Like you get your stuff so quickly. Quicker than you get Forever 21 packages, which is like... Makes no freaking sense how long Forever 21 packages get delivered to your house. It, it's like, it takes a week. But ASOS takes like a couple of days and it's coming from the UK. Um, what I love about ASOS is that there's always something really fun and whimsical on the website. Now, I don't put it there as much as I want to. Um, just basically because uh, sometimes I just don't want to wait for things to come in the mail. Sometimes I want it now. Um, but... I, whenever I'm looking for something unique or something different, I look to ASOS because there's always something really cute on um, there. Also, UK sizes, they're very generous, um, so things don't fit me too tight or too crazy. Um, and I really do love, love ASOS. I really do. Um, I should start shopping there more. See, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to push myself to shop different places because I'm kind of getting tired of shop at the same stores, but I just can't let go of my holy grails y'all I just cannot let go um another place is rainbow dev shops love those stores I love that I can just pick up like cute little two dollar five dollar t-shirts or like ten dollar leggings and keep it moving I don't care what nobody say a lot of people might say shopping at rainbows and dev shops is basic but I'll be that basic okay because basically I am making a three dollar shirt look like heaven okay um most of the pieces in my athleisure haul were from Rainbow, okay? Whenever I say Rainbow, I run right in there because why would I not buy a $5 shirt or a $3 shirt? Why would I not buy that? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why wouldn't I? Especially if it's cute and it fits me great. And the plus size department of both places, because Dev Shop is now all plus size, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Um, completely amazing. So it's like, how is this only three bucks? And it's completely like, it's fantastic. I'm also going to throw Rue 21 and that kind of, that kind of, so it's like a trifecta. So Rainbow, Dev Shop, Rue 21. Like those three places, I love to shop for like little inexpensive things that still are great quality. And sometimes not so great quality, but still last me for a long, long time. So I definitely do love those places. Um, whenever I'm just looking for something really quick or if I just feel like shopping. Because sometimes I just spend money, just spend money, which is really bad, but I usually like go to those three places when I want to just pick up some cute little cheapy things and keep moving. But still used to be on that list too, but they closed now, so. Now we have come to the places that I want to shop at. These are places that I have been meaning to buy clothes on. I have browsed websites and I just have not purchased anything from. Instagram boutiques. I follow and a lot of plus size Instagram boutiques follow me. And sometimes they have some really cute stuff up there. A lot of great two-piece sets and jersey knit sets and stuff. And I'm like, yo, I need to get up on this Instagram boutique wave. But a lot of times I'm very weary about purchasing things on social media because like, I don't want people to like have my info and then they scam me and stuff. So like, I'm super scared to order things from Instagram. So if you have successfully ordered from Instagram boutiques, please let me know down below so that I can have the confidence to finally order because I really do love some of the stuff that I see. Um, there, 
there's just been so many like I find that a lot of them follow me and I follow a lot of them back so I was like girl why are we playing this foreplay game let's do this I need to stop playing and just start like just doing it um another place that I would like to shop at is boohoo now I absolutely love Grace Victoria and Chanel Botnag um they're both UK um YouTubers I love them to death and they're always talking about boohoo and Nadia um, she's always talking about Boohoo as well, Nadia, the blogger, Nadia. And so I ha I've been meaning to bit to get things from Boohoo, but it always slips my mind. Um, but I really do want to start buying pieces from there because I love, I've been loving what I've been seeing on the Boohoo official website. And and it's not playing and just like slide in the DMs and just make the purchase because a lot of the times also I really am a cheap bitch. Like, I don't want to spend all of my corn on, like, one piece of clothing. Like, I need to be able to have, like, ten or five pieces for 50 bucks, not one thing. But as I've gotten older, i realized that there are just some iconic pieces that you have to invest in because they are must-have in your closets, and they will last you for a long, long time. But sometimes, uh, I just don't want to part with that much money, okay? I need to be having multiple things in my cart for 50 bucks. I cannot just buy one thing and it's 50 dollars. Like, I just... Like, you know, I haven't reached that 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 level in my bank account where I'm comfortable making a purchase like that. But I am trying to step out of my comfort zone and I am trying to try new things and shop at new places. So Boohoo is definitely on the list of things to try. Um, Rachel Roy. Now I do have a Rachel Roy jacket that I got from my Dia box. Um, and when I was able to try out that jacket and I absolutely love it. I realized that I really do love the Rachel Roy brand. Her clothes are amazing quality and I really do love them. I like stalk the Rachel Roy department on Macy's.com because I've had my eyes on this pair of distressed girlfriend jeans for the longest and I'm just waiting for them to come back in stock. But I really do like her pieces. I think that they fit extremely well because I've also tried on some of the Rachel Roy pieces. Um, at work at the Dia at, at, at the Dia at my job I've tried some great Rachel Roy pieces in previous Dia, Dia boxes and while I was at work trying on clothes and playing dress up and I really do love the way that her clothes fit I'm very impressed because I don't really care about Rachel Roy being ready with a good hair that don't bother me but sometimes when women who are not plus size make plus size clothes sometimes I'm like mm, what you know about being large and in charge of what you know about making clothes plus size women but um i'm very pleasantly surprised with the way that she has created her plus size line because i'm very impressed and it fits very well so i'm definitely um in the market for shopping more pieces for the rich Roy collection which if you do not know you can purchase it from macy's or you can order some in your dia box um shameless plug uh and another place etsy ebay um, Amazon. This also has to do with the reason why I haven't ordered from the Instagram boutiques is because I'm, I just do not want to put my information to these random sellers. But my best friend Asha, hey girl hey, she has gotten so many amazing fashion pieces from Amazon and from eBay and Etsy that she has definitely inspired me to want to um, try my luck because she has gotten so many amazing sets for really really cheap and they all fit her and she looks amazing in them so I'm like girl I want to try too um so I'm definitely like going to try my damnedest to get some pieces from eBay and Etsy and stuff because I have seen so many great pieces on women not just my best friend but on other women um and they say when they say they got it from eBay or Amazon or Etsy I'm like girl shut up for real and a lot of times some of the stuff is custom made especially from Etsy it's custom made so they're one of a kind and I love one of a kind stuff like stuff that only I have so definitely trying to like be more ballsy 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 balls ballsy okay with my fashion because I'm already out there but sometimes like the price tags be like yo you asking for a lot but I love this and uh, the last one is GS Loves Me. If you guys know Passion Jones here on YouTube, she is like the mother of all plus size fashion on YouTube. And she has a lot of GS Loves Me pieces and so she has definitely inspired me to want to shop there. Along with Fashion Nova, I forgot to put Fashion Nova on her too, but GS Loves Me, Fashion Nova, 
um, those are places that, of course, you've seen everybody on Instagram and Fashion Nova, and I saw um, Passion Jones and GS Loves Me. So I want to definitely try my hardest to shop at those places too. Not just because I see it on everybody, but just because I want to know what the hype is about. I heard that um, GS Love Me has some really sexy, amazing pieces, and I heard that Fashion Nova has some amazing jeans. So I want to know this for myself, okay? I want to collect this information and know for myself. So I'm definitely going to make a purchase um, at either one of those stores because I've heard so many great things about um gs loves me and fashion nova that i have to see it for myself like when you hear somebody ranting and raving about something you have to know for yourself unless it's drugs stay away from drugs okay everybody's ranting and raving about that that kind of stuff will get you thrown in jail and that is not cute at all that is today's video we just had a kiki about shopping and i hope that you guys have enjoyed it be sure to leave your favorite places to shop and where you shop sometimes and where you will like to shop down below so that we can all just know and if you have links to websites um leave them down below i will be sure to leave links and all that good stuff in the blog post for today's video which leads me to this for more information and everything that you see in today's video please feel free to visit my blog at www.nothingmuslimplus.blogspot.com the link will be down below the blog post for this video will be very short because this is more of like a talking video but there's still going to be some good stuff down there so check it out um and in the description box below is also the links to my social media and links to the previous um, videos that you in case you have missed anything okay so this is our new posting day on wednesday i hope you guys have been enjoying seeing my face on wednesday on hump day because i've been liking the wednesday schedule it allows me to have some more time to be creative but we're not done here okay because i also start off the weekends okay so i i meet you in the middle and i start you on weekends so be sure to come back here on friday for another brand spanking new blog post okay all right because they're gonna be great they're all great and you guys are all great so thank you so much for being a darling diva and a darling diva because i know i have some male viewers out there as well thank you for being part of the nomads plus family it really means a lot to me to everybody who clicks on this video and leaves a comment down below um so yeah i'm gonna go okay y'all dinner is calling my name your girl is hungry so i love the tater tots and i will see you ladies on friday